Here's a quick review of the almost all digital electronics LC2B inductor capacitor and meter. This uh, meter is a kit which is available at the various ham radio swap fests. It's also sold over the internet. Costs about $100. It's designed uh, primarily for measuring low value inductors and capacitors which are uh, often found in RF work. It um, has a 0.01 picofarad resolution in capacitor mode and a 1 nano Henry resolution in inductor mode and the overall accuracy is about uh, 1% when it compares with the, an expensive uh, meter from like HP or something. 1% accuracy is fine especially for a, a hobbyist RF work. The only uh, really drawback to the uh, kit is uh, the plastic case. You'll find that you're uh, on a low value measurements your hand will actually uh, interact with the uh, oscillator that it uses for measuring th the uh, component but it's a minor problem. Start by turning on the unit it oops, needs to have all the uh, mode buttons out. It self calibrates. What it does is it um, it sets up an oscillator using a LM311 with a known inductor and a known capacitor and then about five times a second it switches in the uh, calibration capacitor which is a high precision or high tolerance capacitor and that alters the uh, tank frequency a little bit and the uh, by switching that uh, calibration capacitor in and out it generates uh, two reference frequencies. When you combine those two reference frequencies to your unknown component, either the inductor or the capacitor, the change in frequency is equal to the uh, value of your unknown component. And all that math is uh, handled in a simple PIC uh, processor. It has various matching modes. Um, that's used for if you want to measure like a reference capacitor and then you want to match it with another capacitor which is handy when you're doing like a making tank circuits and stuff to measure an inductor you uh, press on the uh, LX button I made up um, a couple of uh, test clips from uh, using parts from Radio Shack just to use a standard banana jacks a little uh, grabber hook When you're measuring the inductors, you want to short out your test leads. You can see we got about 0.46 micro Henry's. This is our stray inductance. We can zero that out. Now we have a basically a zero reference to start from. Here's a little example to our right I uh, wound up. I was aiming for about 1.1 micro Henry's. So you got 1.154 or so. And we can, uh, on the uh, torrents like this, you can uh, adjust the uh, spacing on the windings if you want to fiddle with the overall value a little bit. To measure uh, capacitors, you go to you punch in the capacitor button, and you want to leave your uh, leads open. So we got about uh, 3.4 picofarads of uh, straight capacitance. Again, we want to zero that out. So we've got a nice starting baseline. I have a couple of test capacitors here. Here's a 4.7 picofarad silver mica cap. Reading about uh, 4.8 or so. And you can see how my hand changes the value very slightly. That's a minor problem, basically. Here's a 1 picofarad silver mica cap, plus or minus 0.5 picofarad tolerance, or about. Uh, 1.4 picofarads. Here's the 
Here's a precision 1% 30,000 picofarad capacitor. On the uh, larger values, it's going to switch over to the micro mode, as you can see. Pretty close. For um, surface mount capacitors, or surface mount components, basically. I made up a little jig using a selvage Kelvin clip. These are uh, clips with isolated uh, leads. There's a you know, metal prongs. Each of these arms is uh, isolated from each other. And it goes to a standard banana jack. That allows you to uh, basically grab the component like that and get a Try to get a reading. You should have to be really careful, otherwise, it'll like go flying off across the room. Okay, okay, we have to open up our leads, zero out the straight capacitance. This is a 0.01 microfarad capacitor. As you can see, we got about uh, 8200 picofarads, which is within tolerance for a it's probably a 20% tolerance for capacitor or so, so it's probably close enough. This is a really handy little jig to make. You might want to um, It uses the standard 3 quarter inch spacing on the banana jacks. There is a hole for the 1 inch spacing. Um, you can often find precision calibration Capacitors, inductors, like a, a hammer you swap fest, they can use that to calibrate the, the unit. Or what you want to do, though, is uh, there's a small, it's part of the calibration capacitor. It's actually two capacitors in parallel. There's a thousand picofarad and then about a 18 picofarad on this unit. They're uh, hand selected when you uh, purchase the unit. You want to make the small value uh, capacitor the 18 picofarad capacitor in this case, I'll make it a trimmer cap. Then when you have your reference inductor capacitor, you trim the trimmer cap until you get the reading that you want. That's just a simple way to uh, calibrate the unit even even uh, higher precision. It uh, does have a fairly high operating frequency for the oscillator that it uses for its uh, testing. So on some of the larger value uh, inductors, uh, it won't work. So keep it about uh, under 100 uh, millihenries on inductor mode and about 1 micro.